What's up, super players? It's your homie C Rod, and today I'm gonna give you guys the latest news in everything that has to do with Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And the craziest news that I just want to start this video off with is the fact that we are getting an official Dragon Ball Super Card Game online tournament. And let's go over to the Dragon Ball Super Card Game official Facebook page where they announced this crazy news so as you guys can see it says right here it has been a difficult time for all dragon ball super card game members in the community as dealing with ongoing effects of the coronavirus pandemic so obviously everybody is affected by this virus and nobody could go play with other people which kind of sucks because you know there were so many regionals coming up and then we had worlds but ultimately that darn virus had messed everything up and also it says that many players have expressed their disappointment as large tournament events have been cancelled and postponed so this is a situation that has been happening ever since the coronavirus has started i remember i was so hyped for the san jose regional i was ready to go take my gohan deck and try to win first place but then the virus struck and they have postponed and ultimately just canceled that event and every other event because of you know social distancing so what they are proud to announce is that they're gonna be there's gonna be tournament organizers like ppg core tcg and top cut they're gonna be hosting online events online tournament events which is freaking insane bandai is officially supporting online tournament events because they still want people to play the game and if you guys want to know the dates on July 18th, PPG is going to be hosting their online event. Uh, July 24th, Core TCG is going to be hosting their live event. And July 25th, Top Cut is going to be hosting their live event. And the great news is you're going to be able to win or receive Champion Packs Volume 2 and Event Packs 6, which come with really rare cards that you definitely don't want to uh, miss out on. Those are going to be some awesome pulls in there. Like, I know for a fact one of the apes is one of the cards that you could pull. So for that reason, you definitely want to participate. And uh, <laughs> it says stay tuned for further details on these casual online events. So just stay tuned. If I were you, I would go follow the Dragon Ball Super card game facebook page and uh you know have notifications on so you know exactly what to do because if i am not correct i feel like all of these already got capped they already got capped within the day of release i heard so there's like almost little to no way to participate right now but the good news is that since this is an official bandai event you're gonna be getting awesome event packs and championship packs and the best news is that maybe this is a sign that bandai might actually create a online client official online dragon ball super card game client so you do not have to use the untapped website which you know is really good but crashes quite a bit and you're gonna be getting this majin buu mat as well so darn good that's pretty sick and that's the main point of this video but let's also look at other news that bandai has announced so they also announced and showcased some of their super rares so we got i mean special rares the special rare so we got shin shinron unison of calamity as a special rare and the good news is that since they made a special rare of this card, the common, the basic super rare version is going to go down in price for sure. Because everybody's going to want to get the higher end version, which happens to be the Shenra. And they also made a Gotenks going all out as a super rare as well. I mean, special rare as well. So darn sick. Look at this card art. It's pretty insane. Um... Not only that, they also showcased the other special rares, which happen to be Zeno. We're getting Zeno as a special rare, the Unison card. So it's looking like the Unisons, a lot of the Unison cards got a special rare artwork. This Unison Zeno looks pretty sick in my books. 
Then we also have Super Saiyan Gogeta, Dynamic Unison, another special rare. I really like the card art on this one. Looks pretty darn good. Which special rare are you going to get or do you want to pull when you buy the new Series 10? And not that's not it. We also have the Vegito special rare and we have the Bardock special rare. All of these are looking pretty darn sick. Which one do I want? I think I am going to lean towards the Shin Shinron special rare. I feel that one's going to be the highest value out of all of these that you want to pull special rare. It's going to be the most bank for your buck, if you will. <laughs> and let's finally finish off the video by going over the, you know, secret rares that they showcased. So, as you guys can see, the first one that they showcase happens to be they even have this cool animation. Oh, Gogeta! And there's two left. So, Gogeta was the first one. A very powerful card. One of the strongest secret rares. Allows you to draw two, restand two, warp two, kill two. So good. And now, let's look at the other one that they showcased. The yellow secret rare happens to be... As you guys can see, pretty cool animation. Another fusion card. Oh, and it happens to be Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks is very powerful. It's able to nullify all the skills on the field. Comes out for relatively cheap if you happen to have certain battle cards in the drop area. And overall, pretty darn good. Not bad. And last but not least, we have this a secret rare. And this secret rare happens to be. As you guys are looking right now, they got a cool animation. Oh, Great Ape Bardock. Honestly, Great Ape Bardock is very powerful. Uh, it's able to gain triple strike and dual attack, if I'm not mistaken. And on top of that, it's able to KO anything during the combo phase by placing the card from the combo area to the drop area, if I'm not mistaken, or the warp. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. But it's pretty darn good. Out of these three, the strongest one, in my opinion, I think is the Bardock. Like, just because you could splash it into any green deck and then you could just, you know, kill anything, ignoring barriers. So you'll have an instant kill anything for one energy, which I think is very powerful. And you could catch a lot of people off guard when they're going for game. The second strongest one, I would have to say, is Gogeta because it just does so much for pretty much three energies you're able to draw to restand to warp two from your opponent's hand and warp two from the field pretty darn good and then we also have the other secret rare, rare if you guys didn't know which happens to be shin shinron which i would rate the weakest out of all of them because it's just a blocker secret rare that's pretty much it and then the go tanks is pretty all right i feel like those two the yellow ones didn't get that much power so that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys like this news update. Hit me up in the comment section below if you guys want more of these weekly news updates where I tell you everything that Bandai is announcing just in case you are not aware. And I'll give you all the details and new cards that have been showcased on these type of videos, which I will call it Dragon Ball Super News. New segment on our channel. Let me know in the comment section if you like it or not. Hit me a like if you do like it for more of these news channels. And like we always say, y'all stay super. Drop. You know how I do, I do it like Broly.